in this London primary school, they're already giving it a go. First it was the teaching, with maths teachers like Chu Wenli here, flown in from China to introduce the Shanghai system. Her British counterparts watching what could be a revolution in teaching practices in UK schools. The system appears to impress. Because they are structured in a really good way, just like your lessons are, where the, the learning and teaching progression is very clear. The UK government has launched a $50 million investment in Chinese maths across Britain. That's been followed now by international publisher HarperCollins producing a number of textbooks using the Shanghai math system to sell into UK schools. They are high quality textbook resources um, with um, very, very slow gradual steps of progression. So it allows the entire class to move together, to gain understanding together. Um, and then to, when they've understood um, maths well, they have a good grasp of number to make rapid accelerated progress. Once those underlying concepts are learned, there is a lot of um, application to real world problems. Um, so they do move on to, to, to using those skills in context. Interest in the Shanghai system was triggered in the UK by a global study from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. In maths, Chinese schools from Beijing, Shanghai and Guangzhou, as well as Jiangsu province, ranked fifth. The UK lagged behind at 27th. So what is Shanghai maths? It is a rigorous system in which children are taught together under strict group discipline. Every child must understand a lesson before the class moves on. A deep understanding of the fundamentals of maths is the goal. The best and brightest help those who struggle. Critics say it's not just textbooks that make a difference. A child's school day in China is long compared to the UK, with far more homework and weekend tutorials. And the teachers are specialists studying primary maths at university for five years and then teaching only maths. British primary school teachers, in contrast, teach all subjects all the time. It could mean more changes than just textbooks. Some of the schools who've already joined the Teaching for Mastery programme have made amendments to their school timetable in terms of the length of a maths lesson and the frequency of maths lessons. Um, so I think if the groundwork is laid, it then obviously becomes easier to, to work through um, and learn those concepts. I think it's getting them off to a, the good, uh, to a good start, but I think it's going to be down to individual schools to look at uh, what Teaching for Mastery looks like in its best form and then to, um, to take on the aspects that will work within their school. The Chinese textbooks will help deliver the UK Education Department's ambitions for half of all primary schools in England, more than 8,000 in total, to adopt the Asian mastery approach to maths. What one school minister described as the most valuable education initiative in years could, in fact, be child's play. Richard Bestick, CGTN, London.